delightful evening. The fuck? Guys, time is precious to me, so we're gonna make this quick. So, a YouTuber, <laughs> makes me laugh, makes me chuckle. You YouTuber, you know, uh, an internet troll, uh, you could say, um, made a video of me, a, a critical video of me, uh, for, for no apparent reason. First of all, uh, the fuck, bro, like, wh what have I done uh, to you? Second of all, Kind of no negative YouTuber. I'm not really about that. I'm all about pushing people upwards, elevating people. But you know, he, he's doing his thing. Before I say any of these points in response to his video on me, uh, the, the link will be in the description. It'll probably be like quite far down low because it doesn't really matter. But you can watch his video if you want to. One thing I do respect about this guy is the fact that, yeah, exactly. I do respect him. Like as much as I can talk shit about him or even talk shit about me, I do respect him, and I understand that he does too. And this ain't manifested, this isn't fake beef, why would small YouTubers try fake beef? There's, there's no clout of it, you know what I mean? But yeah, YouTuber in the name of Hands of Britain, you know, uh, quality name you have there. Um, so this YouTuber in the name of Hands of Britain, quality name, you know, you got to give respect to the, the thought, provoking thought behind the name of the channel. Um, but doesn't show his face at all, as in the, in the name of his channel, Hands of Britain, only shows his hands. It's probably a reason why, you know, just saying. So he's made a video of me, I have watched it, I'm not going to react to it now, but I have watched it. Uh, you can watch it yourself, you can judge it for yourself, you can like, dis dislike it, come on. 600 plus subscribers, and I can see why. He is a very active and positive YouTuber. I salute you, sir, for the community efforts that you make. And you even take a bit of light trolling rather well. I'm also a huge fan of your expectations in YouTube. For example, your effort in creating a most commented video. The most commented video on the YouTube platform. And even branding your car with your label, so to speak. Although I applaud you in these ventures. First thing he says is that he respects me, which is all well and good. He says my videos are, you know, considered good quality. Uh, I upload frequently, which is all factual facts. But there's one thing, you know, there's a few things that just piss me off a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go through them. So the first thing was that... Um, Although I applaud you in these ventures, you have also made some outstanding mistakes and quite possibly offensive with no correlating facts to support your opinions. Now, I know I'm an asshole, and yes, I'm pretty damn proud of being an asshole, but I will always make sure that I can back up my opinions, which may seem offensive, but with solid facts. The things that stick out to me is the stereotype that all Donald staff are blithering idiots. These guys are trying to earn a living in a job that already holds a lot of stigma. Granted, sometimes you may feel like the person taking your order may seem like they have a glazed over expression, but the reality is the poor soul has most likely just had enough of serving a bunch of whiny bastards. So the first thing, Mr. Britain, whatever the fuck your name is, uh, you said that I was inconsiderate to people that work at McDonald's, not knowing that even though you comment on all my videos and are true, a true fan, so I, I appreciate the support for the Inzingy, the Inzingy Nation, but you do watch my videos and you know they are all comedic and most of my videos at the end will start, I will explain no matter what I do in the video, pissing about. It's all comedic, for comedic values, all for entertainment purposes. All I said was I was relating to like dumb people in McDonald's, relating to that specific individual working at that time in the McDonald's prank. So, uh, yeah, do your research, kid. Wait, let's, um, uh, let's just backtrack a little bit because I just said kid, but you are actually, the people are watching, you do realise this guy is a 35 year old growing man uh, making these videos. So, you know. Get on your geezer. Although this chap has a supreme clothing fetish. Which to me spells out fucking asshole. Second thing was the supreme thing, like ha, yeah, it's funny. And honestly, 
I don't give a fuck. Like, it does not make any difference to my life or your life what I wear. If I'm wearing this hoodie, it doesn't make a difference. I'm wearing it because I want to wear it. I understand your point, it's a joke as well. And also, like, there are some people that generally will wear things for other people to impress. I wear what I like, so it doesn't really matter, does it? My little message to you, though, sir. Keep doing what you're doing, but maybe think a little bit before you upload. He says I need to think before I speak and before I make videos, but he takes ages to make videos. Like, I was waiting, as soon as he said he's gonna make a video of me, I was like, you know what, let's go, gloves are off, like, let's do this, let's do this. I was, I was excited for it and was DMing back and forth. I literally have to wait about two to three weeks for him to release a video. So, consistency there, bro. You need to up the game, and you know that like posh sort of like sarcastic voice. Yeah, okay, it's, uh, isn't actually his voice. Just uh, leak some information, just uh, salt base some information out there. Uh, he even DM me saying YouTube, YouTuber to YouTuber, like it's just something he puts on, which is like it's kind of expected because what else is a 30 or five year old uh, middle aged man has to do with his life? And like in my opinion, like I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't find it funny. It's, it's just. It's kind of creepy. It's, it's weird, but also like you do you, bro. But I'm saying just like be yourself, because I realize if if you just be yourself on YouTube, like most of the time you are gonna get to where you wanna get to. But like, I think he, he's trying to make too hard to be funny. If that makes sense. I mean, bro. Like I've got. I got dirt on you, son. So I've done my research. I got dirt on you, and um, sorry to my fellow companion, Hands of Britain. I respect you, sir. I do salute you too, back. And we can drink tea together one day, maybe. Actually, no, definitely not. There's one more that I want to leave this on. To any YouTuber out there, including you, Mr. Hands of Britain, that uh, wants to try disrespect my name in that matter, just just think again and uh, don't fucking test me. Like, do not test me. Because you're going to get a diss track back. You don't make a big mistake. Mistake. Hands of Britain, you need to Brexit. I know man doesn't skip his breakfast. Fuck with me now, you fucking with less than 600 subs, man. That shit a blessing. Why you even on this platform? Why you move like Michael Jackson? Why your hand does so much action? I got some dirt on you, in fact. So